When you were asked about the vice president possibly being selected as a Supreme Court nominee, you said you're not going to speak to any considerations. Does that mean she is being considered? Uh, again, Peter, I'm not going to speak to uh, the reports of a Supreme Court justice retirement that hasn't been announced. So theoretically, would someone who's theoretically, I do like that you preface it. I appreciate just, that. Just wondering, hypothetically, theoretically, uh, would someone who was an attorney general of a large state and who served with many key Senate votes be an attractive candidate to the president for an open Supreme Court seat? I see what you did there, Peter. But uh, the president has every intention, uh, as he said before, of running free of re-election and for running for re-election with uh, Vice President Harris on the ticket as his partner. Uh, but again, I will just reiterate uh, that uh, I have nothing more to offer in terms of specifics or information on the reports this morning. Not enough. Would you have another question uh, for yes. me? Go ahead. Uh, I know there's other things on your mind, yes. on your list over there. Uh, now that you guys have submitted the written responses to mm -hmm. Russia's demands, they are saying, if we do not receive a constructive answer from the West on our security demands, Moscow will take appropriate measures. Is that a threat? Appropriate measures? Well, let me first say that the aggressor here, as maybe you're echoing in some ways or, or raising, uh, is Russia. Uh, Russia has tens of thousands of troops at the border. Uh, they have the ability also to make the decision to de-escalate, uh, to bring troops back from the border, to participate in good faith in a diplomatic conversation, and that would certainly be our preference. Uh, so them making threats, I think Secretary Blinken had a very uh, good quote, or it made me laugh, uh, that he gave a couple of days ago where he said it was like the fox threatening to attack the hens in the hen house because they were feeling threatened by the hens. Uh, but. Uh, our objective is to give them paths and to uh, take part in a diplomatic conversation in good faith. And as the Russians talk about appropriate measures, if one of those winds up being a Russian cyber attack like DHS is warning about, would you guys consider that an act of war? Well, uh, Peter, we have talked uh, many times before. First of all, there's no um, no uh, information we have at this point about any imminent threat against the U.S. homeland. Uh, we are always prepared for cyber threats from a range of sources, um, and we have a range of uh, tools at our disposal to use in, rea in reaction, and the President reserves the right to do that, but I'm not going to get into a hypothetical. And then on COVID origins, you guys are talking a lot about sanctions for Russia if they dare to invade Ukraine. What about sanctions for China at any point? Uh, for misleading the world about the early days of the global pandemic. We have used sanctions as a tool uh, as it relates to our concerns about the behavior of a range of countries, uh, including officials in China. Uh, but I have nothing to preview for you at this point. Is it possible down the line, though, that, they, that sanctions would be considered some other form of punishment for their actions in the earliest days of the pandemic. Well, you know we strongly believe, and the President has been clear and directly clear about the importance of them being transparent and providing data and information uh, related to the origins of the pandemic. But I don't have anything to predict for you in terms of additional actions. So then my last one would be, the President said for months that he had not spoken directly to Xi about the COVID origins investigation. Now he says that he did talk to Xi about it, but nobody else was there. If the president had that conversation, did it work? And is she now playing ball? What are you getting at there? Are you suggesting the president wasn't being honest about his own conversation with she? No, but the story did change uh, for months. He was asked about it, and he said that he had not directly asked him about the COVID origins investigation. We don't share every detail of every diplomatic conversation. You know that. Uh, the president answered a direct question just a week ago, or I think it was a week ago, yes. Um, and provided that information.